Hi, I'm Vince Del Monte, online fitness business coach, and in today's episode of Becoming an Entrepreneur, you're gonna watch a story about an individual who was making great income doing what she loved, but knew she was just scratching the surface and had to come to the conclusion that she had hit a plateau. And to get to the next level, she had to do something completely different. Enjoy. I was a journalism major at George Washington University. My part-time college job was being a news aide at the Washington Post. When I got close to graduation, the chairman of my journalism department at GW called me into his office and said, I've recommended you for a job with a New York Times bestselling author as his editorial and research assistant. And if he offers you the job, you should leave the post to take it. So I went and I worked for him for three years and we did three books. In that process, I learned about how to develop an idea for a book, how to expand upon it, how to pitch it to your agent. I got to be a part of all of these processes. You know, my business was going okay, but I'd say I was working with more like the startup level people. I went to a party in LA, and while I was there, I met a woman who at the time was Vince's publicist. And she goes, I've got a client who wants to write a book. He engaged me to, first of all, help him do a book proposal. Then I collaborated with him to get his book written. I'd been earning around $200,000 a year consistently, but by the fifth year of hitting 200,000, it became really clear that I had a problem, that I had plateaued. I knew that there was absolutely a zero BS factor to Vince, and I was reading about some of the results that he was getting with people. And then finally, just one day, I was just like, I just gotta reach out to him. And so I did. After my first coaching call, we talked about some ideas about some minor tweaks and restructuring with my rate structure, with my onboarding process, just some things to streamline some things, and also started to open my mind to how I could take on more without getting overwhelmed. June I made 40000 July I made 50000 August I made over 60000 By the end of the year I more than doubled the highest income number I've ever hit. And so now I'm opening up to new initiatives that I believe can take me to seven figures. Part of my commitment to being a successful entrepreneur is to always have a coach. I don't have an office. I don't have to have a brick and mortar store. I work from home, but I pay rent every month for this space. You wanna live in a nicer neighborhood, you gotta pay the rent and that's how I look at it. Insane, right? So Robin, check this out. If you missed that, she's making 200 grand a year on her own, realizes she hit a plateau, and finally trusted that prompt in her gut to reach out and to schedule a call. And that day, everything changed. Within a few short months, she's making more in five months than she did every single year for the past five years and we're just getting started. And if you're ready for a breakthrough so your income stops teeter-tottering around what it currently is and what it's gonna continue to be, unless you figure out what's not working, then schedule that call. I look forward to seeing where you wanna go, what your vision is, and finding what you need most right now to get you there. Let's schedule that call and I'll see you on the phone. Talk to you soon.